You know, I find it super interesting that the last episode of Revisverse I did, it, it touched on the episode of Onion Trade. Because this issue of the Steven Universe ongoing series opens with what seems like an overt reference to it, but one that's here specifically to show how much things have changed since then. Because we're at a point in the show now where Amethyst had her white shirt. This is pretty late in things. But the issue opens with Steven coming out of the arcade with a Gals figure. Excited that the guy's figure has finally been supplemented with a vending machine of gals. And he bumps into Onion and drops the gal that he just got. But Onion, rather than stealing a gal from him like he stole Ranger Guy, he gives the dropped figure back. Then we see that he has a bunch of stuff with him because he's going to spend the day with his dad on the ocean. Something that he noticeably didn't do in that episode. He saw his dad... They spent a tiny bit of time together, but he didn't go with him. And also, I don't think Onion at that point in time would have, like, he didn't literally tell Steven what he was going to do, but he indicated it. I don't think he would have done that back in that early episode. And then, to keep this theme going, very, very soon afterwards, the gems are getting ready to go out on the old sloop. But rather than leave Steven behind this time... Since he has grown so much and come so far, they're going to take him with them. So he actually gets to go out on the ocean with the gems now, just like Onion got to go out with his dad. He gathers up a few supplies before he goes to go fishing in the kiddish way that Steven might do that. And it is going to be a long mission, but he is along for the ride, and he's super happy about it. And you even get to see a few panels of him just hanging out with these three members of his family in a situation that we've never seen him in before, really. They're out looking for a gem artifact today, a crown of some kind. I can't remember what Garnet called it. But when they show up to get it, something happens that I would have loved to have seen this late in the show's run. And I've talked about this before. Like, first of all, this is an old school kind of retrieval mission, something that we didn't get in later episodes. But... A corrupted gem also shows up. This is a Monster of the Week story. And we get to see the gems try to fight this thing, but unfortunately their little sloop, their only foothold out on the water in this thing is aquatic, isn't quite durable enough and the creature manages to destroy it. And we find out that it was attracted by the gummy worms that Steven used as artificial bait. Which means technically he brought this thing here. And he apologizes for it, but the other gems are very understanding. You can see how much they've matured and how much their relationship has grown. And when they come upon, just out of happenstance, Onion and his dad out on their boat, they enlist their help to defeat this creature and retrieve the item, with Onion even using his harpoon from back in Bubble Buddies to strike the final blow. It felt like this issue was specifically pulling in elements from early episodes of the show and re-envisioning them how they might appear in an episode set at this point in the timeline. Something that, again, I talked about in my reviews a lot, and even in my theory videos quite a lot, too, probably knowing myself. I don't really remember now, though, now that I think about it, that I would have liked to have seen. I liked those early episodes, and using them as a benchmark, like this issue did, to show how far the characters had grown by putting them in a similar situation after the growth had happened would have been a great way to play off the nostalgia and also very quickly show us how far the characters had developed. And I don't understand why they didn't do it in the show proper since it would have kept to the premise of the show. Like, they basically dropped that premise of the show after a while, and that bummed me out, because it was fun. <laughs> That's really what this issue is. Like, I don't have anything else to say about it. Like, the themes in it don't really go above and beyond what I've already talked about. The theme of revisiting this older style of storytelling through a newer lens. But, like, it, it was just, it was fun. It was fun and wholesome. And while, granted, they maybe shouldn't have 
put Onion and his dad in that situation. Like, there wasn't really anything else they could do. The creature was still around. It would have attacked his boat anyway, right? It was just, it was an entire issue full of stuff, again, stuff that I wish had been in the show. It never really made it into the show, which is a recurring theme for these ongoing issues. And, and callbacks to early episodes, to a nostalgic time in the show's run. And I loved it a lot for that. I thought it was great. And of course, they do recover not just the object they came for, but the corrupted gem itself, herself, I guess, technically. And while we don't get an explanation for what this gem artifact is or what it does, even that's kind of in line with that older style of episodes. So it just it just fueled the nostalgia. Uh, but yeah, as per usual, what do you guys think of the seventh issue of Steven Universe ongoing? If you have read it, let's get a discussion going in the comments section down below. I feel like I need to say more about it, but there's not more to say about it. It's just, it's just good. <laughs> While you're down there, you might as well like the video, share it with anyone else you think would enjoy my content, subscribe if you haven't. You can also check out links to my various social medias as well as the many ways you can help out the channel. Those will be in the video description, but either way, this has been AJ22 and I will talk to you guys later.